Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic Micro City. And yes folks, unfortunately from the title you see, it is the final for the Micro City. Uh, there's a couple big reasons why this is the final, I'll explain those here in just a bit. But I do want to go ahead and pass off the question to you guys. What do you want to see next here in Scrap Mechanic? Which theme do you want to see next? So uh, comment below with that. Uh, we're going to be discussing that also in the Discord, so if you haven't joined that, that's also down in the description. But yeah, this is the final for the Micro City. Uh, it is a, a bit of a sad day, but we are going to go ahead and go through like a final tour here, and I do have a couple more uh, little creations to show you guys. Uh, just to kind of wrap this whole series up here in Scrap Mechanic. So yes, folks, if you're enjoying Scrap Mechanic on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button, and let's just jump right into this. Alright, I'm actually, I'm excited, I'm a little bit sad, but I'm excited the whole fact that we're going to get a new theme here very soon, so kind of curious as to what you guys come up with. Now you're probably asking yourself the question, well why are we stopping the Micro City? And I don't know if you can really catch it here, but uh, you might be able to tell here in the video, it is a bit laggy. But that's really not the reason, uh, I've been dealing with a lot of crashes as of recent in the Micro City, and the whole fact that the map loads up about half the time now, so... Uh, it's pretty unfortunate, the whole fact that the game is kind of limited the way it is, but we did get a whole lot accomplished here, and I think we are ready to do one final grand tour. So let's just start over by the airport. Alright, so one of the first things you do in Micro City, if you fly in, you're going to fly in here to the Micro City Airport, a uh, pretty nice little area back here, and then you're going to turn around and you're going to drive out the bridge. Now, this isn't the main road in the Micro City. I want to say the main road's the front-facing roads of the, uh, probably the skyscraper there, so I would say that road. Uh, we never actually named all the roads, so that was one thing I was intending on doing, but just never got around to it. So yeah, you come out here, this is kind of the, somewhat of the industrial district. Uh, we've got the Cargo Harbor right here, which, by the way, one of the cranes has fallen over. Uh, I, I'm aware of that. Uh, but yeah, this was something that I didn't actually get to finish. Uh, I know a lot of people said, well, the cargo harbor is blocked because there's a train uh, track that runs across there. And I, I'm, I'm aware of that. That was something that I wanted to fix, but uh, unfortunately, we are not going to get around to doing that. So if that's one thing in the micro city where I'm like, man, I really wish I would have gotten that done, it would probably be this. So yeah, we're going to swing around here. This was like the first episode of the micro city. We had the Shell gas station and the recycling center. And then I did have the... Uh, We'll call this the first office of Komodo America. This is where the corporation started up. Uh, maybe this is still an active office. Maybe it's just like the uh, the lower division to the big Komodo America tower over there. So yeah, you have that. Uh, we also had the, uh, the bridge in the first episode, and this is kind of where it stopped. It was really just that one little block there. And this was like an episode where I was like, Okay, are you guys going to actually want to see more of this? And you guys responded very well, and that's why we continued on. And we did, I don't know how many episodes of Micro City we did, probably at least 10 to 15. So yeah, we uh, swing around here, we have the mall next, and we have the, uh, the Totebot Stadium here, the little football team here in the Micro City. And then we're going to swing further down. This was like a, uh, we'll call this a low-density commercial district. We have everything from the Komodo Burger a little fast food restaurant here. This is probably one of my favorite small buildings in the city. Uh, we've got car dealerships. We even have like stuff like a McDonald's in the micro city, which is kind of cool looking. Uh, news stations uh, over here. This has actually got the front facing. Uh, I would call that the ocean. I was intending on probably, I thought I was going to put some land on the other side. And uh, I'm kind of sad I didn't get around to doing that. But we'll call this the ocean over here. It was going to be a, bit, a big like river. Uh, but yeah, you have that. You have the little lighthouse up here. We'll swing around. We have the uh, the Crocus station here. We have, uh, I think, two... No, actually, we have three stations. Uh, three train stations here in the Micro City. This is like the old-timey one. Uh, there's a Grand Station in downtown. And there's another old-timey one on the other side of town. So, uh, that's the train there. I don't think I have any trains spawned. That's the train station. And it does have a complete loop that actually goes around the city. So, yeah. That's pretty much the lower half of the uh, the micro city, and then you kind of go into what is probably one of the most impressive things that I've seen here in Scrap Mechanic, and it, a lot of it's not due to me, but it's due to all the people that came in and actually built buildings. 
But yeah, it's all the fact that we have these like mini skyscrapers and we have like a whole downtown district. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start on the other end and we're going to sweep through downtown here. All right, like I was saying, there was another uh, train station over on this side and here's that. It's got another kind of water facing train station. I wasn't going to build any land over here because you can see the, uh, the power plant in the background and then you have one of the little, I think it's like a little hydro plant or something. So you have that. Uh, you've got some apartment buildings over here. Uh, you've got a smaller hotel. We have a park. Uh, this was the, uh, oh, this is actually a radio station. I'm not really sure who built that. I gotta remember that one. I think that, uh, I think it was somebody that actually built several things in the micro city. So you've got that. Uh, here's the fire station that I built. This was one of the first buildings on this side of town. This is the, uh, the Ladder 49 fire station. Came out pretty cool. Uh, we have a couple of the fire trucks over here. I think it was me and, uh, Scrubmaster. I know Scrubmaster, I think, built a couple of the trucks. Uh, that was a pretty awesome little build. So we have this. We have the Ubisoft Tower, which I don't really... <laughs> I don't remember much about this tower. All I know is we, for some reason we have a Ubisoft Tower in the Micro City. So we've got that. Uh, there's a bus terminal over here, or like a bus stop. And then we have a little medical clinic on this side. So, the Micro City, the main downtown district, had three roads. You have the back road that... This would be a little separation here with the train track. Uh, you have... Maybe this is the main road. Maybe this is the one that goes right through the micro city downtown. And then you have the front facing road, which is by the canal here. So you'll swing in. You've got the police station here, which by the way, that's modeled from the old town. If a lot of my older fans remember uh, the very first town, actually, I forgot we put this in there. I kept thinking this was in the, the commercial district that we did, which was a separate map probably about a year ago. But this is from the uh the beginning town which that was in 2016 i believe wow that's been a long time so yeah you've got that you've got first canadian place uh we've got the Newto newtonian tower I almost said newtonian tower or maybe that's how you call it i don't know i have to ask mr non-newtonian i think it's newtonian tower uh we've got that we've got the uh the big city bank here which this was a really cool building uh, you can see little elevators going up and down it's got a little rotating door here in the front uh, we go across here, we have the Komodo America Casino, because Komodo America loves to make money, apparently. Uh, you'll see the CA branded on a lot of buildings, uh, see if you guys can spot them all. And then we're going to swing around. This was one of the first uh, residential buildings that we had in the micro city, uh, as far as the downtown district. This was the, uh, the Garbuckle apartment buildings, which by the way, it's really only one building, but I thought it would look appropriate to have two here. Uh, kind of facing back to back and have this little parking lot in between. So yeah, uh, that's that street here. Let's go ahead and go on the big street over here. All right, so next we have the CCP building. Uh, we're going to swing around. This is one of the towers, one of the many towers uh, in the micro city. This one's, I believe, from Toronto, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we have, ooh, I, I wish I remember the name of this one. It's like the... Uh, it's something, the Emerald or something. I don't know if this is based on a real tower. This was made by Garbuckle3000. Uh, Garbuckle made actually quite a few of the skyscrapers here. Uh, he was really, really involved in the, uh, the building of the micro city. Uh, this is the Bruce Willis Tower, which it's based off the Will... I think it's called the Willis Tower, but uh, this has some slight variations to it, so he just named it the Bruce Willis Tower. So you've got that. Uh, we've got... Hmm, this is a... Oh, this was another... <laughs> Komodo America, this is a construction site. I guess we were building a new building here, and we probably own a construction company, so you had that. That was made by Zombie. Uh, go around, there's a couple more small buildings. Oh no, we're still celebrating Christmas. <laughs> I forgot to take that out. Wow, that shows you how long it's been since I've been in the micro city. Huh. Yeah, I really need to get that out of there. Uh, we have the bin there. This is the banana statue, which is a, it's a banana. Pretty cool. You got like all these little park areas in between the skyscrapers. Uh, we're going to swing around here. Here's uh, the big building. This is the behemoth. This is the Komodo America corporate headquarters here, the Komodo America Tower. Uh, it's got its own, it's basically its own block because this is like one of the most massive buildings. If not, this is the most massive building in the city. I don't know, the Emerald might be uh, slightly taller, but I say probably the Komodo America is just a bigger building. So you've got that uh, we go in and we've got another little smaller business here this is the s and c incorporated building uh, this one over here I don't know if this one has a name it's actually a quite a nice looking building uh, it looks maybe like a residential building or something 
All right, so we're on the final street here. Uh, we're about to hop over onto, I guess we'll call this the north side of uh, the micro city. So yeah, you'll swing back here. This side, uh, it's an awkward street because it does have a, a train track that runs all the way up its side. So there's not really, there wasn't much room for new buildings. The only thing that you see new or the only building on this side is going to be the uh, Grand Central Station, which will go around because the, the front of the building's on the other side, uh, opposite of the street. It was a little awkward fitting that in at first uh, because I had already had the train tracks run in by the time I got to the this actual station here. So anyways, we'll continue to walk on. Uh, we have stuff like there's a parking garage over here. Uh, one of these is made by Mr. Duck. I believe it's this tower right here. And then we have another, the RW Tower. I wish I remember what that was. So yeah, you've got all that. Uh, you can also, you can just hop around or hop over this little train track here to get to, I guess we'll call this another uh, low density commercial district on the other side. But uh, we're going to swing back from the tourist district and then we'll swing up and go over to like the neighborhood and the army base. Alright, so we have the uh, Micro City City Hall here. This is made by Garbuckle3000. Now, as far as buildings with detail, this is probably the most detailed building we have here in the Micro City. This thing is absolutely stunning. So we have that. Uh, this is kind of like an older district. You see the uh, the Grand Station over here, which this was made by Mr. Croca. Uh, this thing is awesome. It's got a ton of fantastic detail on the inside. Uh, I don't know, I think you can actually walk into this, if I'm not mistaken. So if we go around the back side here, if I walk into walls and stuff, it's because the frame rate's pretty bad. I'm almost getting like a delay. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead. Yeah, you can walk into the back of this over here. Uh, you can check out the inside. Tons of detail. Uh, Mr. Croca has a very fine attention to detail, especially on his city builds. Uh, he used to do stuff. Uh, he did a couple things actually for the old towns, and it was just uh, he was always a really, really good builder. So we've got that. Uh, we're going to go ahead. Let's go to the tourist district before we head over to the rest of the older district and into where the Monster Jam Arena is. Uh, so yeah, this is a, a little building here. This is by Joe Train Gamer. It's Khan's Logic. I think this is the only uh, building that was based on another YouTuber. And of course, we all know Khan is like a logic person, so he's got his own little uh, electronics store. So we'll swing over here. Uh, this is the uh, Croca United building, of course, Mr. Croca. He's the builder of transportation in the Micro City, so that's his own little headquarters here. Uh, I am a bit sad uh, that I wasn't able to fill this gap in over here. Actually, I had it filled in at one point, and the game crashed, and I lost all my progress again. Uh, that's uh, kind of one of the reasons why we're not doing this anymore, which is uh, very unfortunate. But anyways, uh, we've got the marina over here. Uh, we'll swing around couple little uh, hotels uh, we have the paper I think this is the paper cat station here uh, let me make sure yeah PC so yeah this is the paper cats headquarters he was like a, a guy that built a bunch of buses and uh, some diesels and stuff like that so we've got that over here uh, we have the this is the harbor I guess we should call this the uh, the cruise ship terminal uh, this is where normally the Komodo cruise ship is but we actually have a new ship uh, in port here, and we're going to go over this here in a second. Uh, very cool, very big ship. Uh, so we can walk around here. Here's a couple more uh, of, I think these are just kind of apartment buildings. Uh, this was uh, one of the, uh, this is where the last episode stopped. We were still building in this area, so that's why you see a bunch of the blank spots here. So yeah, you can look off in the distance. You can see uh, the power plant for the city. It's a little island out there. Uh, you've got this fantastic looking beach right here. And then, of course, we have the mini city park, which this is, uh, this was cool. This took a lot of effort. Uh, I'm kind of glad that this actually worked. I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to weld this one down uh, because it had quite a few bearings in it. But yeah, this is the, uh, the mini city theme park. Ah, it's awesome. So yeah, we're going to walk up here. Uh, let's go ahead and go around the back side. All right, so we're going to swing over here. We've got some, uh, more buildings. This is the Garbuckle School of Design. So Mr. Garbuckle... Uh, he has his own little headquarters here. Uh, followed by, we have a library for the Micro City, which it looks like a very modern, very nice looking library. So yeah, as you can see over here, uh, you can see where I was building more blocks for the Micro City. I planned on adding at least two more streets out this way. Uh, this is where I started to run into issues with crashing, losing progress, and just having to deal with a whole bunch of mess. 
And that's it's very unfortunate to sit here and like build for several hours and then have the game either crash or maybe when you're trying to exit the map, that's when it crashed. It had to happen several times like that when I was like, all right, I'm gonna exit here and I'm gonna try to like save. And I would exit and it would crash and I it wouldn't actually save the progress and it was very frustrating. So uh, that's why it's all blank out here. But anyways, uh, you're gonna go over here. This is like an older district. You got a lot of older style buildings, probably like townhouses, stuff like that. Uh, you got some older stores over here. And then we have another uh, apartment building over here. This one is a pretty fantastic looking building. But if I'm not mistaken, uh, somebody pointed out, I think I actually put this in backwards. I think the front of the building is over here. <laughs> uh, that was my bad. I, I kind of need to switch that around. I feel bad about that one. And by the way, there's a couple switches here. You can turn on some lights. There we go. So yeah, we've got that. Uh, we've got some uh, motorsports entertainment over on this side. I had a NASCAR track that I wanted to put in, but unfortunately due to crashes and stuff, I wasn't able to put it in. I was going to put it in on probably this side or the back side of the Monster Jam Arena, which by the way, this is where it all started. Uh, this was where Ben there uh, built this and it inspired me to basically do the Micro City. And that's where this whole series started off. So I, I definitely have to thank Mr. Ben there uh, for doing that. Which, by the way, this still looks uh, awesome. This is so amazing. This was a full-size build at one point, and then he just basically made it all micro, and it's got so much detail. Uh, very, very cool. So uh, we're going to walk over here, and this is the micro drag strip. Uh, we have, uh, I have a couple of dragsters somewhere. I don't know, I despawn a lot of vehicles because it helps with the lag a bit. But yeah, we have our little micro drag strip. You got like a little parking area back here. Little playground for the kids, say they don't want to watch all the motorsports entertainment, they can go over there. Uh, we're gonna go to the lower, I guess we'll call this a lower density commercial district that kind of wraps around the city. Because at first I thought I was gonna limit all the uh, the commercial buildings to the, the bottom side where like the McDonald's and the Komodo fast food restaurant was. But I got so many buildings that we started to kind of wrap around the city. So yeah, we got everything from like car dealerships, uh, we got a YouTube headquarters here. Uh, wrap around. This was a little blimp hanger. Uh, we've got an arcade over here, which this arcade reminds me a little bit, at least the interior, of the arcade that was in the commercial district that we built. Huh, that was probably about a year ago, too. That's yeah, hard to believe how long we've been playing Scrap Mechanic. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got that. We've got Taxi Town over here, another parking garage. Uh, you've got like a little strip mall here with a pizza place, a general store, and dry cleaning. Uh, we've got a Taco Bell over here, because why not? Uh, we've got a, oh, this is always like the best thing ever, a Walmart, because walls, and it's totally not Walmart, as in the, the blue and yellow store, or blue and white, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, over here we have the, uh, the huge store, this is an Ikea, which by the way, I'm going to go ahead and admit, I've never been in an Ikea, uh, supposedly they're pretty magical. So you've got that. This uh, road here leads around all the way down to the army base. We're going to go ahead and go over this last street. Actually, there's not much left on the last street here. Uh, you got the junkyard. We've got a little Komodo America shipping building. Uh, we have a public pool over here, which this was a cool little building. You can see all the details in there. Uh, swing around here. There's a hardware store. There's a Dollar General over here. And then, yeah, that pretty much gets us out to the neighborhood. So let's just go ahead and go out to the neighborhood real quick. And this is another one. Besides the cargo harbor, this was something that I was not going to be able to finish. And it kind of breaks my heart because I was getting some uh, really cool houses in. Uh, you can see some of the modern houses that we already have out here. Yeah, I was, just, I was getting a lot of really fantastic looking buildings uh, and houses that I was going to fill up with like all uh, viewer creation houses. And we're going to do several streets and just have like a big... Uh, residential area uh, and then by the way we have a little school over here which this is uh, another building that is from the old town uh, you can see some of the detail in there uh, yeah that was awesome looking so yeah it's uh, unfortunate we didn't get to actually finish the uh, the neighborhood back here uh, we're gonna swing around over to this area over here and then we're gonna go over to the army base all right so here we go we're at the military base this was several episodes uh, this is actually quite big uh, so yeah, you can walk in, hop over the little fence there. Uh, I don't know where to begin here. There was a lot. Uh, you had like your basic, like, I guess we can call these, where the troops sleep, uh, barracks, I believe. You've got like little just areas. I don't remember what half these buildings are. One of these is like an HQ. I believe it maybe, maybe it's this building here. 
Uh, this is actually split off into basically your three branches. You have like your army, your standard like uh, army base over on this side. You got training grounds, uh, obstacle courses. There's like a little uh, shooting range. There's a bunker back there. And then you had the little Air Force portion of the base, which is the two runways here. Uh, you can see the hangars. There's one of uh, Mr. Lord Payne's micro jets there. Uh, some bigger hangars on this side. And then you had like the Navy section over here, which this is where a couple of the big battleships were sitting. Uh, which, by the way, the reason they're not out is the whole fact that they lag. And I'm trying to save all the FPS I can for the video. So uh, normally there's a couple battleships here. Uh, which, by the way, you can always go to the Micro City playlist and go check out any of these episodes that I'm referring to. And you'll see a lot of the vehicles and stuff. So yeah, you've got that. Uh, that's pretty much it for the little base here. This actually, this came out really nice. Uh, very, very big. So yeah, that is about it. Alright, so we're going to do one last thing here in the Micro City. We're going to go on a little cruise and we are going to leave the Micro City. I know that sounds a little sad, but uh, that's just the way it's going to be here, folks. Uh, like I said, I would have liked to have done probably about maybe two or three more episodes of this to try to wrap up this city. Uh, but unfortunately, with the, the lag, the crashes, anybody that's played Scrap Mechanic knows uh, that once you get to a certain size on a map, everything starts to act really funny and it gets really hard to just do things in general. So uh, maybe we'll come back to this at a later date uh, if it gets more optimized. I don't know why it thinks that I'm holding down my mouse right now. And, oh, yep, it's trying to delete stuff. Yeah, stuff like that's happening. It, it thinks that I'm holding right-click down when I look at stuff. Okay, uh, so yeah. Anyways, uh, it is uh, acting a little bit strange. Uh, we're going to go ahead and ship out of here. We're going to go over to the harbor and go ahead and check out that last little creation here. Now, like I said, if you guys have any suggestions for future builds, comment below. Let me know what type of theme you want to see next. It can be pretty much anything. Uh, do keep in mind, we do have the tile builder now, so... Uh, we can go pretty crazy with a new theme. So hopefully we'll be starting that up here very soon. I, I want to continue a little bit on the Hot Wheels stuff too. I got a couple more tiles that I want to make for that and cars. But I wanted to give you guys some sort of closure here for the Micro City. So yeah, let's go over here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set sail on this brand new fancy boat. Alright, so I figured let's go ahead and we are going to sell off in the sunset here. We're in the RMS New Plymouth. This is a fictional ship made by Luzzard. Uh, it looks a little bit like the Titanic from a distance, even though it's missing a smokestack there. Uh, but it is fictional. Uh, don't mistake it for being real. But pretty fantastic looking little build here. I was going to show this off uh, in the next Micro City episode. I was going to build a little bit more on the harbor and the tourist area. But yeah, let's go ahead. Check this out. This thing's actually massive. The uh, the cruise ship that we had was pretty big. Uh, I was a little taller than this, but this thing is really long. So uh, let's look at the. Uh, oh yeah, this is pretty pretty basic. A lot of these uh, we don't do a bunch of hover ships in the Micro City. We never have. We had like one. Uh, a bunch of people started putting just wheels on the bottom. It just makes it so much easier, and plus it helps with the lag. So uh, we're gonna hop into this thing. Driver seats up there. Uh oh boy. So up up here. So yeah, uh, be sure to comment below. New suggestions. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. I know it's a little weird. Uh, I don't like doing a, a wrap up episodes like this. It's always awkward for me. Uh, but we're gonna sell off here and we're gonna say goodbye to the micro city. This is actually a really cool looking boat, by the way. Uh, let's go ahead and start to turn. Oh, it turns like a boat. Oh boy. Oh yeah, the turning. Uh. <laughs> Uh, we're not going to crash on the way out of the micro city, are we? Oh, we might do that. Oh, you know what? We're going to run over. The <laughs> we're running over the beach. You know what? Come on. You can do it. You turn like a big bus. Oh, this is not a way to leave the micro city. This is a little embarrassing. Hold on. Let's, uh, let's get this thing turned around real quick. Uh, I think we're stuck on something. All right. We're leaving. Uh, finally. Uh, that was a bit embarrassing, but we're, we're going to make it out. So go ahead and say goodbye to the Micro City. We might see it at some point. We're not going to hit the power plant. Oh, no, we're good. So yeah, it's going to disappear here in the distance. But but yeah, hopefully you have a good day. Uh, if you like to like and subscribe, uh, everything helps my channel. Do join the uh, Discord below. And I guess we're going to see you guys next time in Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.